On this Earth Day, we head to Harlem, where an inspiring group of girls and young women is breaking the gender gap in science and engineering. CBS 2's Michael George takes us to St. Nicholas Park, where the teenagers are learning how to protect the environment. Oh, oh, look, 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 look. These teen girls have turned this Harlem Park into their own science lab. Ready? On this spring day, they're using dirt, grass, and sticks to create a functional water filter. Eleven-year-old Sophie Ba calls her experiment a success. I think that's really essential because, like, like let's say I was stuck somewhere and the water was like really polluted, I could use it to make clear water. The program is called Green Girls, created by the City Parks Foundation. The young women meet weekly for hands-on lessons about the environment and how to protect it. For these city dwellers, it's also an opportunity to search for climate solutions in nature. I think it's important because we can have like clean air, clean water, save some of the plants because some of the plants provide us with what we need, like crops and stuff. Women make up less than 28% of science, tech, engineering, and math jobs. Program manager Myra Sanchez says with the right encouragement, that could change. There's already a lot of stigma against young women in school, um, being able to answer questions, being voicing their questions their concerns about something and just getting the ability to speak it allows them to build their voice be surrounded by other young women their age but also be able to facilitate that ability to be inquisitive for the last 20 years the green girls program has been growing in new york city now they're sharing what they've learned and how to teach it with educators across the country michael george cbs news new york I love Great. it. <laughs> Unleashing all that talent, right? I know. It's there. Just... They learn so much, and it's just, ugh, back to Earth Day, right? Right. Really Let's good. Stoke it. All right. Let's...